I made this a couple months ago. It's a vacuum chamber. You can do lots of things with it. But now, I want to scale things up a bit. Here is what we're looking for. Alright, now we've got to separate it from the tube. First things first, this thing right here, it's a bike tire valve, right? So, got myself one of these online, on Amazon, pretty cheap, a couple of bucks. Alright, let's pop this baby open. And get to work. Alright, so let's first start out by getting this off, separating this from the inner tube. Using a knife, I'm going to cut it off just to separate it. Be very careful with knives, kids. They're dangerous. I wonder if there's something I could do with all this rubber. You know, now it's just like a tube of rubber. And, and, oh, oh, I know. I can use it as a necklace. Alright, like it? I do. Alright, so now we have this. Let's cut it a little bit more. Alright, this is boring, so uh, I'll speed this up for you. Alright, so we gotta get all this rubbery stuff off, right? So that we can actually get it on to the vacuum chamber so that we can solder it on, alright? Alright, so that was a real pain in the ass. Um, let's see, I, I got it pretty clean though. I think I have a little bit of rubber right there. But I think it'll be okay. Hopefully. Um, so there's really not too much. I might try to get a little bit more of it off. But what I did off camera is I uh, put some al alcohol on a tissue and then cleaned it off a little bit more. I don't know if that really did anything, but I definitely got a bunch of the like dust and little tiny rubber pieces off All right so now we're gonna move on to putting it to putting it on this baby this big old monster look at look at this thing it's a gallon I'll put a link for it in the description All right. All right I give up I'm just gonna guess guess the middle and I would say it's about Right there. How's that look? See the little black dot in the middle? See yourself too? So 
see me? All right. I'll drill a hole right there. So now I'm going to look for a drill bit about the size of this. But this this diameter, not not this big one. See how there's a size different? See how there's a difference in the sizes, right? You have to do this size because I'm going to be putting it in like this. Right? Okay. So let's see. We look at 5:30 seconds, right? This is what I did with the old one. Is I just kind of matched it up, but now that I have a caliper, it's so fancy. I can uh, can use the caliper to measure this, right? So you got 0.234 inches. So I'm gonna guess that's almost a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna go with that. These seem to fit up pretty well. Alright. If you look down the center. You can see how they're really close, right? All right, so now I'm going to drill a hole in this, but I'm going to start out with the smallest size. I'm going to start out with a one sixteenth, right? And I've heard that it helps, and it seems to help a little bit. You know, starting out with the smallest drill bit, because then you can just get a really fine hole without lots of burrs around the edges. So I'll start with the smallest bit, and then I'll move up all the way to a quarter. That's a little tedious, it's actually pretty freaking tedious, but if you do it quickly, um, it's not too bad. And I'm probably not going to do every single size, all the way from 1 16th to a quarter. That's that's quite a few, that's, that's a lot of drill bits. Alright, so I just finished drilling the hole in it, right? Um, but I had to, I, w I did it in my garage because I don't want to wake the rest of my house up drilling. Drilling a hole in a mason jar in my room. Um, that's one thing I can't do quietly. Sorry about that. I didn't get it on camera, but it's it's not that hard to figure out, you know? But look, no, we have a bunch of burrs and stuff on it. I'm not, yeah. See, look at that. <laughs> Let's look at the other side. Kind of have one there too. And make sure when you're drilling that you don't push down too hard so that it doesn't push this down and dent it, you know, because that would kind of suck. It'd be hard to solder on later. So, but now I'm going to try to use some uh, wire cutters to try and get all the burrs off. And then I'm going to try to flatten them and do what I can to get them off.
All right, so now that I got what I could off, most of the burrs, I tried to get all of them off. It's pretty tough, though. Um, and then I tried to do it on the bottom. But I also tried to make it as flat as possible using freaking almost anything I could. Probably going to work a little bit more at it. Um, yeah, I just kind of tried rubbing stuff on the top to uh, flatten it down so that it has a good soldering surface. Alright, but the next thing I'm going to work on is I'm going to use uh, sandpaper. I don't think it really matters what kind. I don't, I don't really know that much about sandpaper, but um, this is what I'm using, I guess. And uh, just some random stuff I found in my garage. So I'm going to use some sandpaper to get the paint off right here and then to, to get whatever coating is around here as well so that I can solder on it. All right. All right. I just finished. I hope it's good, but Here's the finished product, here's the front, right? All I did was use a bunch of sandpaper and got all the paint and stuff off. And I think it got down a lot of the burrs, so we should be good on that. And then the back side was much easier because it was a lot flatter. Alright, so now let's get to soldering. Alright, so you want to make sure you clean this off as well as you can. I just used some alcohol and a tissue. Um, and uh, if you have flux, though, you know, flux for soldering that would uh, that would work really well but I don't have any flux so I'm not gonna use it all right so we got a soldering iron all right, got a sponge wet sponge gonna wipe it off real quick all right got some solder I got I got from uh, Radio Shack. Alright, so I'm going to put some on the tip of here. Alright. Ah, that was, that, was, that was too early. I started too early. Alright, so where'd it go? Ah, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to stick this. Ah, stick this through here. Oh man, if I can. Jeez. Oh, okay. It's a tough fit, but that's okay. Alright, so I got it in there. See, just, just like that. There's the bottom. There's the bottom. Alright. There's the top side. I don't have much room. Working with what I got. One sec, let me make some more room. All right, lots more room, that's, that's perfect. All right, so let's start by wiping off the soldering iron, right? We got this guy right here. I'm gonna have to stand him up somehow, all right? Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the solder right here, right? Put the solder there, and then I'm gonna melt it so that it melts all the way around here like right in between um, right in between the the air intake right and the edge of where it's Alright, so I did the best I could. See, I uh, soldered it the best I could. Not the best solder, but I think I can get the job done. 
Alright, and I also soldered the back side. Alright, that's just for a double measure. I've heard that you don't actually need to do the back because when you seal it, or when you are taking air out of the chamber, it'll seal pretty well, but I don't know. Now it's time to put this baby to the test.